Managing your documents is the next topic of our presentation. The Documents section acts as a central repository for all the documents you keep for your clients. This section is organized into different folders. These folders are generated automatically once a new client is created. You can also create subfolders for each client by simply right-clicking on the mouse and choosing Add New Folder. One of the folders that you see here is the Correspondence folder. This folder contains all your communications with your client. You can double-click on an email and you can see that it's opening in another tab. Remember, you can send or receive emails directly from the Officio program. I'll show you how to operate the email in the email tutorial. To upload a document to Officio, simply select a folder and click on Upload. In the Upload dialog box, you can choose to browse the files on your computer to be uploaded. You can also upload multiple files at the same time. While it is possible to download a file, work on it locally, and upload it again, we also use an online word processing software called Zoho that allows you to edit documents online. Simply select a document and click on Edit with Zoho. Make your changes and click on Save to save your document. This is done totally online. You can also choose to drag and drop files from one folder to another. You can further use right-click to move, copy, or access other features of the program. To email documents, simply select your documents and click on the Email icon. The email dialog box will open, ready to submit your documents. You can see the client's email address has already been taken from the information in the profile. Among the folders that you see here is Shared Workspace. As the name implies, this is a shared folder that will appear in all clients and staff's document section. This folder is used as a temporary space to place files in and have those files moved to various clients' folders. Apart from the Documents section that you saw for each client, we also have a module called My Documents, where each staff user can keep their own documents. So this is not to be confused with the Documents section that we saw earlier. Among the documents that each staff member can keep here are the templates. Templates are those emails and letters that you use on a frequent basis, but customized for each client. Examples of templates could be your retainer agreement, your invoices, receipts of payments, welcome message, and other documents that you have automated in your office. Here, for example, we have defined a template called Interview Notification that will be sent to clients every time you receive an interview notification for them. We have composed the body of the template and have inserted placeholders in those areas that you normally customize. These placeholders are fields in the database that can be accessed from the list on the right. To place a field in your template, place your mouse in the spot that you need to insert the field and double-click on the desired field on the right to insert that field. Once done, click on Save to save this template. You can add your new templates by clicking on the New Template icon, and you can choose to make your templates a shared template so all users in your office can use them. If you communicate with your clients in different languages, these templates can be created in your language of choice. You can use the templates in your email communications or in your regular letters. To call up a template in your email, from Contact Info in the profile, click on Primary email. The email dialog box will open and show you the default template. You can choose to use the default template or one of the available templates from the drop down menu on the top. Go to the desired template, and Officio will merge the data specific to the client with the contents of the template, ready for submission. Once sent, a copy of this email is saved under the document section of your client. To call up a template in your regular letters, under the Documents section of your client, choose 
New Letter Merge. Select the template and give your new letter a name. This concludes the document management tutorial.